20 years. <laughs> so, um, what some of the characters you've ended up portraying? Because it's been two or three now, has it? Has it been? Right. Um, <laughs> I'm, I've been in Game of Thrones since day one, literally. Uh, see, episode one, season one. I uh, sliced the head off uh, one of the uh, Night's Watch guys, uh, dressed as a White Walker. Uh, sorry kids, if you haven't seen Game of Thrones yet. Um, uh, series 2, I played the Mountain. Uh, one of my favourite scenes with uh, Charles Dance, what I've always referred to as the, uh, the, um, the Headmaster's Office. Uh, because being talked down to, if anyone can talk down to uh, uh, the mountain, it's Charles Dance, and he does it exceptionally well. It's like being berated by a headmaster. Uh, series three, I started playing the giants because uh, they didn't appear before then. So we started uh, shooting the giants in Iceland uh, for series three, uh, episode one, and uh, I died as a giant <laughs> in series four but series five i played in another one but one 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 his name is abbreviated to one one um i read a story on the internet uh george a friend of george rr R. martin's um was a big uh, a big american football fan and he's a big fan of the new york giants so he begged George Martin uh, to let him name one of the giants and uh, he named him One One. Nice. Have you met um, George? I haven't. You haven't? No, he never comes to set. Never comes to set? No. Very short question that was. <laughs> <laughs> um, can we expect, well, this is kind of spoiler territory, but can we expect to see you in maybe a big battle coming up in future episodes? I've really no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> I know the thing about Game of Thrones now is it's because it's transcended the novels. No one knows what's going on, including the people that work on it. So you haven't filmed any scenes that have not appeared yet. Well, I can't talk about scenes that I filmed that haven't been shown yet. It was worth a shot, though, wasn't <laughs> it? I, I could have asked is Jon Snow alive, but uh, uh, we already knew that one. Um, so a lot of your parts. Oh, well, you know what? I'm being rude. It's fine. You Ma, go. No, you go, you go. You go. I'm a Game of Thrones fan. Can you tell? I'm excited here. Go on. You can ask an next question. A lot of the parts that you play, you spend an awful lot of time in prosthetics and makeup and all that sort of thing. Yes. What's the longest you've sat at the makeup department? The longest I've sat in the makeup chair is about eight and a half hours. Ooh. It was for a little-known horror movie called Outcast, which starred uh, James Nesbitt uh, and, uh, and Kate Dickey as well. It's a Game of Thrones uh, connection. Um, oh, and Daniel Porter as well, he was in it. Uh, and uh, it was uh, shot, in, uh, shot in Edinburgh uh, during the winter time. And we actually took over a, a hotel room as, as a makeup room because the makeup process took so long, eight and a half hours. So the room next to my hotel room was, uh, had all the furniture removed and was turned into a makeup space. Now, the, the movie sort of concerns elements of a, a supernatural uh, Romany witchcraft, etc., etc. And I played a character who's basically a werewolf without hair. That sounds um, very weird, to be honest. Imagine, like imagine, a a werewolf, imagine a werewolf and then substitute slime for hair. And you've pretty much got the character that I played in this movie. Nice. So, an eight and a half hour makeup process. And at the end, I was covered in slime. So, ergo, I was practically naked. <laughs> so, um, we're shooting uh, this film in a housing estate in Edinburgh. Uh, at night, freezing cold, chucking out time, okay, the pub's emptied, all of a sudden, all these drunk guys staggered through the set. Alright, can we be in your film? I could be an actor. <laughs> Now, I, I've... Did they make it in the film? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> it was fully cast, unfortunately. They probably could have done a very good job. 
Yes, now there's a very embarrassing uh, uh, moment. Um, I, I'll, I'll, I'll clean it up for, for the. Actually, I, I can't actually say it without even clearing it up. <laughs> <laughs> so Suffice to say, there was a very story, embarrassing a naked actory moment <laughs> <laughs> on set. <laughs> I, I don't even want to start picturing that.